so today we are going to see uh, important question from charter for motion in a plane find the magnitude and the direction of a resultant of two vectors a and b in terms of their magnitude and the angle theta between them so first we'll consider vector a along op and vector b along oq from a same point and making angle theta and its resultant is os okay so and draw normal which is to op so sm is perpendicular to op and pn is perpendicular to os so we'll just write first let op and oq represent two vectors a and b making an angle an angle theta okay then use using parallelogram method of vector addition os is resultant resultant vector r okay and here sn Sn is normal to normal to OP and Pn is normal to Pn is normal to OS and we have to see in parallelogram opposite sides are equal parallel and equal therefore OP is equal to OQ so this is A and OQ is equal to PS which is okay I am just writing here O R O P is equal to Q S which is equal to vector A and O Q is equal to P S which is equal to vector B okay next using geometry I am just considering the triangle S M O okay if i consider triangle smo in triangle smo os square is equal to sm square plus om square okay so this is pythagoras theorem using pythagoras theorem os square is equal to sm square plus om square okay here om is equal to op plus pm right so just substitute OS square is equal to SM square plus OP plus PM the whole square. Okay. Now we just keep this equation as it is and then we have to get the values of uh, each each terms in this equation. SM, OP, PM. Okay. Then OS is R we know and then SM. SM we don't know. So in triangle smp smp if we take this is angle theta right and this also will be angle theta okay so smp if we consider so sm is opposite if we take opposite sine theta sine theta is equal to sm by sp right so sm is equal to i'm just writing here sm is equal to sin theta sp is b right and next the same triangle i'll consider same triangle i'll consider triangle smp i'll consider now cos theta so pm by right pm by sp so pm is equal to dm by sp so pm is equal to b cos theta so we have to substitute these in the equation write the equation here o s square sm square plus op plus pm square o s square is r and m
A plus P. Yes, P M is B cos theta the whole square. Now, R square is equal to B square sin square theta A square plus B square cos square theta plus A B cos theta. Okay. Here, I will take B square common. R square is equal to B square if I take common. Sin square plus cos square is remaining. And plus A square is remaining. And AB cos theta. Okay. So, next. R square is equal to. We know that sin square plus cos square is equal to 1. So, B square plus A square plus ab cos theta now resultant r is equal to square root of a square plus b square plus 2ab 2ab ab cos theta so Therefore, this is the magnitude of the resultant. Okay. Magnitude of the resultant we have obtained. And we have to now find the direction of R. Okay. Direction of R is taken by tan alpha. So, tan alpha is this one. This is theta, this is alpha. Tan alpha if we consider SM by OM. Okay, SM by OM will get. Tan alpha is equal to SM by OM. And SM by OM is OP plus PM. And we know that SM is B sin theta by OP is A plus B cos theta. So, therefore, alpha is equal to tan inverse of B sin theta by A plus B cos theta. This is the direction of R and this is the magnitude of R. R is the resultant. Okay. Thank you for watching this and do not skip anything. And uh, if any more doubts, please do comment.